Hello and welcome to this Shoebox webinar focused on getting your occupational hearing testing program back up and running. My name is Kate Mosley. I'm one of the product managers here at Shoebox uh, with a focus on the occupational hearing testing market. So first a little bit of background. Shoebox has been leading the way in innovation in hearing healthcare for over a decade. Our founder, Dr. Matt Bronwich, was an ENT surgeon who had a vision of making hearing health accessible to more people around the globe. So to accomplish this, he invented an automated test that could be self-administered, and he put it on an iPad to make it highly portable. What makes Shoebox so ideal for hearing health is its incredible ease of use, portability, validity, and optimization for out-of-booth testing. It's exactly what makes it ideal for occupational hearing testing programs. So in the next few minutes, we want to share with you some of our thoughts on what we see emerging in the market since the onset of COVID-19. We've spoken with many of you who are starting to think about your programs again, how best to get started, and how to get back to a place of compliance. We'll cover what the new normal might look like, things that you may wish to consider, and ways to protect yourselves and your employees or clients. No one will argue that 2020 has been a a tough year. Uh, as health and safety professionals, you've been on the very front lines of this pandemic, and your first priority has and should be the wellness of yourselves, your employees, clients, customers, especially your own families. I'm sure there are many of you attending this session whose businesses were forced to suspend operations. Uh, for others, maybe you've had to change how your business operates. If yours is an, an essential service, you've probably had to figure out how to maintain or even increase production levels while keeping the workplace safe for everyone. In any event, I'm sure that there's been considerable concerns about business viability, job security, uh, and of course, employee health and safety. Approximately 90% of Americans were under some form of lockdown. We all experience this. Um, more than 100,000 small businesses have closed up shop forever. Supply chains have experienced disruption. And industries like travel, tourism, uh, auto parts and equipment, oil and gas, drilling have all been tremendously impacted. And not surprisingly, even if your business was deemed essential and remained open, it's quite likely that you put your hearing conservation program on pause. In fact, this is exactly what OSHA rec recommended you do. But as states and provinces begin to slowly open back up, you may be anxious to start testing again. It's been more than six months, and you want to be sure you have a plan in place to get your program back uh, within compliance. On April 17th, 2020, OSHA posted an enforcement uh, guidance, which for the first time recognized that due to COVID-19, employers were not able to feasibly comply with a wide range of OSHA regulatory requirements. Uh, in the memorandum, OSHA instructed its compliance officers that they should exercise enforcement discretion and not issue citations for regulatory violations if employers made a good faith effort, but ultimately could not comply with regulations requiring uh, annual or recurring audits, reviews, training, or assessments. So this includes your, your hearing conservation program. So how can you get your hearing testing program back up and compliant in this new normal? As you might imagine, service providers are booking up fast. They have a healthy backlog of postponed clients who are waiting to get back into the queue. Those who hadn't already scheduled their annual testing when the state went into lockdown might be waiting even longer. Also, consider the new reality of physical distancing. Service providers won't be able to test as many people in their mobile clinics as they could pre-pandemic. They need to stagger booth space. Uh, plus, they'll require additional time to clean, disinfect, and ventilate the booths between each employee. This requires that they stay longer at each client location, which further reduces their availability to move on to the next client. It may also mean that they must charge more for their extra time and cleaning service provided. So every business wants to get back to doing what they do best, serving their customers and making a living. That being said, the number one priority is the health and safety of your employees. OSHA has developed guidance to help prevent worker exposure to COVID-19. So how comfortable will your employees be getting into a sound booth? Many employees have already voiced concerns about entering the mobile clinic. They found the space small and cramped and questioned how easy it would be to clean. They may also be wondering who was in the booth right before them. Will they have access to PPE before entering the booth? How much space is there between booths or between them and the test examiner? Employees really want to understand the measures that are being taken to protect them from the virus and how is the business taking their health and safety into account. 
According to the NHCA best practices guidelines, physical distancing is most likely not possible in a, in a mobile sound booth. And as a result, the number of individuals tested at one time must be dramatically reduced. So some things to consider. First, will your service provider be able to book you in? Obviously, priority will be uh, made to reschedule customers they needed to cancel. And if you hadn't scheduled your provider to come on site, there could be a really long wait. And then next, how much time is needed between employees? Uh, this could mean that your provider would need to be on site longer than, they, than you would normally budget for. And you'd have to determine your local regulations to determine and, and understand how long between employees uh, makes sense. I would also suggest that you review the NAC guidelines for recommended time for ventilation after the employees have left. So what about the local clinic? The clinic's going to prioritize those with hearing health problems. I'd imagine that hearing conservation is pretty low on their priority list. And they will have the same issues for ventilation of booths. This is a small uh, space that needs to be properly, properly sanitized. And like the service providers, clinicians will be looking for ways to minimize time people spend in, in sound booths. So let's take a minute to focus on infection control. Shoebox was really purpose-built for out-of-the-booth testing. So we've worked with hundreds of customers who have brought their hearing testing programs in-house. We've also worked with many uh, service providers who rely on Shoebox to help them offer hearing testing services without having to outfit a mobile clinic. And Shoebox isn't just the testing equipment. Our solution includes a host of services, as well as the testing hardware and data management environments. Our services start with onboarding. So we work with all of our clients to customize the best way to get started using Shoebox. We've developed a methodology that allows us to do this in a completely remote fashion, particularly important today. And we provision all of the hardware from our corporate head office. We can offer remote management of the iPads, which means that we will centrally manage the software and iOS updates for you. And we can ship to either one or hundreds of locations, depending on exactly what you need and the size of your business. We also offer personal one-on-one uh, -on -one training for all of your test examiners. And again, this is all done in a remote fashion. We also offer a host of audiological services from program supervision by our KOX certified audiologists to audiological reviews delivered by a network of regionally licensed audiologists. And let's talk about the testing equipment itself. So it's quite easy to disinfect because you're dealing with just the iPad and headphones. You can use Clorox or Lysol wipes on the iPad and audiological wipes on the headphones themselves. It's perfect for at a distance testing. Simply hand the iPad to the employee or client uh, and guide them through the administration of an automated test. You can even leave it set up for them on the table. And all of this can be done while remaining at least six feet apart from one another. It also allows you to test much more frequently, as much as daily even, so that you can have flexibility in how your program is run and you're not limited to try and squeeze everyone into a one to two week period, which we know can be quite challenging. So if you're a service provider, you can easily administer multiple tests simultaneously by running two, three, or more iPads at the same time, physically spaced apart. So using the Shoebox portable test equipment and web-based data management will help you meet your OSHA requirements for occupational hearing testing. And Shoebox is also an ANSI compliant audiometer, which has been clinically validated by peer-reviewed research to produce accurate results, even when testing outside of a sound booth. The automated test is very easy to administer, or even self-administer. So for those who are KOX certified examiners on the call today, we do have a manual test option if you prefer. The Shoebox ships with a set of calibrated headphones as well as calibrated class two external microphone for conducting your pre-test room scans. This background noise monitoring feature ensures that ambient noise levels remain within the appropriate levels deemed by OSHA. And our digital data management portal means no more paper records but it is much more than that. It provides an efficient way to organize data, whether that be by location, by employee, or by client if you're a service provider. It is used to set baselines and identify when a shift has occurred. And there's also reports generated and shared, whether individual or summary reports. And we can even help you get your historical demographic data and test results imported into our portal so you can have a fully centralized control of your program. And there's a few things that Shoebox customers tell us that they like most about these systems. Number one, they offer greater test flexibility. They are no longer reliant on just a once per year test schedule. And they typically tell us that they are able to reduce their overall program expenses by at least 20%, sometimes much more. And they have a lot of confidence in their compliance levels with Shoebox testing. 
um, because they're not reliant on an outside provider. And their employees simply like it better. It's really a better testing experience from the one administered in the back of a truck in a cramped sound booth. And this last point has become really even more important in recent months, and we don't really see that changing anytime soon. So even if you decide to wait until your service provider has a capacity to come back on site, a percentage of employees will always miss their scheduled test. And there will always be those in need of a retest. So having a shoebox system will let you handle these individuals in-house, and they won't need to be sent out to a local clinic, which will only save you more money. So thank you so much for joining us today. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at info at shoebox.md or give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much.